Hey Josh, my name's Tony. I'm right out here in Bradenton. Um, gave you guys a call yesterday and spoke to Iris and let her know that I wanted to send you guys out this quick video. Um, usually I send them by email, but she mentioned I can text it to this number, so hopefully that's okay. What I wanted to do today was go over three tips to help you increase your online presence in a way that'll actually help generate you additional business. I know a lot of companies are busy right now and I get it, but um, you know things may change in the future. You may want to grow or things start falling off for whatever reason. So hopefully this information is useful to you. So put the video to the side if, you don't, uh, if you're not interested in it right now. Come back to it if you ever need it. Um, I do this for free for small businesses. The only thing I ask is if you find the information useful, just hit reply or to the email and or text in this case um, and let me know what you thought. So what I want to go over today is the Google's three main ranking uh, factors. That's content, citations, and backlinks. So with content, all I'm talking about is the words and images here on your homepage. Um, you got a nice looking site. Um, we generally suggest 2,000 words of content. I know that sounds like a ton, but Google really values content, well-written, authoritative content. Um, when I do a count on the words on your site right now, you're sitting at about 450. So you could definitely use some improvement there. Um, Google really wants to serve up the best experience possible to its end users and the content on the website is the way that it does that. On top of that, within that content, you can interweave keywords, um, keywords such as plumbers, Sarasota FL. This is searched 200 times in the, a month in the Sarasota area. I'm going to grab the first plumber that pops up in the organic results here. And uh, actually, let's just open him up. We're going to compare to him. I'm going to look through Bill the Plumber, and he doesn't have a ton of content either. So you guys are probably looking about the same. Um, he, they've got a plugin on their site. I can't even copy their text, so I can't do an exact count. But um, wouldn't be very hard to beat this guy from the content side just looking at his site. So keep that in mind. So after I did this search, you know, at the top here, we get the paid ads. I don't want to talk about those. I do want to talk about this area here. This is super important for a company like yourself. About 50% of the search volume is going to call or click on one of these three listings. Most people think the top three listings are the best, in this case, plumbers in the area. I know that's not necessarily true, but what I do know is they figured out how to get up here. And the, that's going to be the second ranking factor. They're called citations. Citations are nothing more than your company name. Uh, address and phone number out on directory sites around the web. These are sites like yellowpages.com, White Pages, Yelp, Angie's List, Thumbtack. If you were to add your company to you know 10 to 20 of these a week for for a few weeks over time, your direct your Google My Business listing will start rising up in the ranks in this area. Just be very careful to be consistent with the way you enter the data. Consistency is key here. So the area below the map pack, this is called the organic results. These are more affected by th something called backlinks. And what a backlink is, is just your website URL in a clickable format out on another website. So you got to be careful because not all backlinks are created equal. Um, you want to get backlinks from trusted websites and if at all possible from websites that are relevant to your niche. So for, in your case, that might be a home improvement niche. Uh, website. Forgive the background noise if you're hearing that. We've got people out doing uh, lawn care. Um, so a home improvement website, maybe they've got a blog on their on their site. Uh, you could even provide them with a, uh, you know, a 500,000 word blog article about plumbing. And oftentimes these website owners will trade you content for a backlink because they want to keep their site active and they don't have time to write and may not know what to write about or know all of the topics. So that's a good way to get a, a niche relevant backlink. So since Build a Plumber is um, the first in the list here for that keyword I was searching, I'm going to throw them here into this product called AREFs. And AREFs does a, as good of a job as it can of estimating what Google knows about a website. It gives us some statistics back. So what they're showing here is 94 websites have Build a Plumber's um, web, um, URL in a clickable format out there. Um, so a, a backlink. He's being found for 413 keywords. It's getting him approximately 221 clicks a month. If we look at the keywords he's ranking for, Plumber Sarasota, Florida is the first one. He's in position three, as we saw. He's getting about 21 clicks uh, per month to his website for that. Sarasota Plumbers, 80 searches a month. 
he's in first position getting 20. So you'll see these are called buyer intent keywords. So when somebody's searching these, they're looking for a plumber. They don't know which plumber they want yet. So they're going to probably call one of the top three. So that's where you want to be. Um, so if we add this all up and say he's getting just, I don't know, let's say he's getting 150 traffic and not 221 and closes 10% of that. That's 15 new clients a month for free, essentially. According to this, he's getting more than that, though. So let's compare that to your site. I'm going to pull you up real quick here. And we're seeing no backlinks and only three keywords are being um, found for. And they're not, um, you know, buyer intent keywords. So you're missing out on a lot of free traffic here. So something's going on. Um, I don't know if you've not attempted any, any kind of SEO in the past to try to get you some backlinks, or if there's something going on with the content on your website, you obviously could use more, but I'm surprised to see only three keywords. Um, so uh, I'd have to dig into that a little bit, uh, a little bit further to see what that might be all about. But hopefully this has been useful. If it has, again, please reply to the text. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Any feedback would be appreciated. Uh, hopefully I gave you some tools that maybe you could help yourself if you're so inclined. But obviously this is what I do for a living. So if you do want to look into this further um, and want to get a professional's eye on it, feel free to reach out. My information will be on, um, well, you'll have my phone number and I'll put my email address in the text. So thank you very much. And with that, I will let you go. Have a good one.